Just a quick look at the main stories now. And uh, the Tunisian president, Kai Saeed, is rejecting criticism of the alleged mistreatment of black African refugees and migrants. President Saeed insists they are receiving humane treatment stemming from our values, despite criticism from rights organizations. We inform the Tunisian authorities that these migrants are supposed to be removed from the border points because they have infiltrated illegally. We hope the Tunisian authorities will protect them and contact the Red Crescent and other humanitarian organizations in order to give them help and protect these migrants. A presenter from the UK's national broadcaster, the BBC, has been suspended while it investigates claims he paid a teenager for sexually explicit photographs. The Sun newspaper reported on Friday that an unnamed male presenter paid around $45,000 for the images, starting from when the youth was 17 years old. U.S. President Joe Biden has arrived in the United Kingdom to kick off a three-country European tour. He'll meet with UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak in London first, before heading to the Lithuanian capital Vilnius for the NATO summit, and then visit NATO's newest member, Finland. Russian and Turkish foreign ministers have been speaking by phone after the Kremlin accused Ankara of giving in to NATO pressure by sending home five Ukrainian prisoners of war. It comes after a visit to Istanbul by the Ukrainian president, Vladimir Zelensky, who returned to Ukraine with five commanders who'd fought to defend Mariupol. West African leaders are gathering for a summit in Guinea-Bissau with uh, regional security topping the agenda. Members of the economic community of West African states are grappling with a surge in violent attacks by groups linked to ISIL and al-Qaeda. Well, those are the headlines. Of course, the news continues here on Al Jazeera a bit later on. Have a great morning, afternoon or night, wherever you are. That's it for me and the wonderful team here. Bye-bye.